Did you see all the gargoyles all over town? <laughs> LOL, the what? They appeared this morning. They are everywhere on every building. I'm out of town. I came to visit my grandma. Well, apparently this is a new thing in town. They're everywhere. What the heck? That would be so scary. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Gabriela and welcome to a scary text message story. Let's jump right back in and see what is going on. They look so creepy. This one is outside of my house. What the heck? I have a feeling that they're alive. I'm just, I'm just saying. This isn't like some new art installation. They're alive. I saw this one by the library. They look kind of cute. They're not. Besides, they appeared all over town. Just poof, gargoyles everywhere. Like, did someone put them there in all those places in the dark of night? I don't know. Nobody does. They're talking about it on the local news. Everybody's talking about it actually, but nobody saw or heard anything. That's really suspicious. And by suspicious, I mean super creepy. Do you think it's like a prank? Like a prankster put them there? I don't think so. They're too heavy and there's so many of them. I don't think someone can just place them all over town in just one night, not even a group of people. Do you know the Conspiranoid radio show? Nobody listens to radio shows anymore. Well, I do. <laughs> She's like, don't knock it, okay? I like this show actually. What's it about? It's a local show about conspiracy theories and paranormal stories. And the host was talking about the gargoyles this morning, of course. He says it's an invasion. He says they're alive. It's like a cocoon and they're going to awaken soon and eat us all or something. That sounds ominous. No wonder the show is called like that. That guy must be crazy paranoid. You don't believe it, do you? I do. Well, it's pretty crazy. He's the only one with an actual possible theory for where those gargoyles came from. I'm not sure about that. It's just like, just because it's a theory doesn't mean it's the one we should run with. He said he'll be doing some research and updating us during the day. You keep me updated with those crazy theories. Just my luck. I get out of town and something interesting finally happens there. I'll tell you whatever I know something. Hey, what's up? Any news of the gargoyles? Actually, yes. The conspiranoid reported again. He said he made some research and made some experimentation on the gargoyle that was close to his station. What did he find out? He says the gargoyles are alive. What? No. No, <laughs> like, what? What proof does he have? What proof? He said we should leave them alone and go back home before nightfall. And are people listening to him? I honestly don't know anyone who listens to his show, but I've tried to tell people on the street. And what's everyone doing? They don't listen. They're vandalizing the gargoyles, reclaiming the city. They're making them angry. Oh no, they're messing with the gargoyles. Oh my gosh, if you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, make sure to subscribe because I post awesome videos like this all week long. And if you want to see your name in the story, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I take your names over there and put them in as characters. That sounds like anarchy. Well, kind of. It's crazy out there. But the conspiranoid mentioned his phone number in the show. So in case anyone sees something, they can contact him. Are you going to do that? I think so. Maybe he can give me some more answers. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe he will get you more paranoid. It's worth a shot. All right, do it. Just keep me updated, please. Will do. Can you imagine though, like if you actually went out of town and something like this happened in your city? Yeah, I also would be livid. And be careful. Is this a conspiranoid? Yes. Who's this? I'm Sandra. I'm kind of a fan. Are you on the street, Sandra? No, I'm home alone. My parents are on the street. You need to tell them to go back home or to get inside a building right now. Why? What's happening? The night's upon us. The gargoyles are awakening. Why? What's happening? What are they? I can't tell you more. There's no time. They're coming after me. Why are they coming after him? It's too late, Sandra. Stay inside. Wait, what's happening? Please tell me. Bonnie, I talked to him, the conspiranoid. It was so weird. I bet it was, but not that bad kind of weird. He warned me to stay inside, but it seemed like he was in a rush, like he was being chased. Paranoid people feel like they're being chased. It was not like that. I think something happened to him and my parents were on the street. I'm gonna go out looking for them. Didn't the guy tell you to stay inside? Yes, but I can't leave my parents outside. I'm going. Sandra, be careful. OMG, Bonnie, what is it? The gargoyles, they're alive. Oh, no, <gasps> they're coming. Oh my God. <laughs> no, this is like an episode straight out of Doctor Who. Sandra, get inside. I just got back in. I can hear their wings flapping. They're coming after me. They're banging on the door, scratching on it. They're making a hole in the wood. Sandra, run, help. Oh my God. Sandra! Bunny, girl, are you okay? I'm okay. I went out through the back door. It's crazy out here. There are gargoyles roaming everywhere. No people in sight. 
They took them! They took the people! You think the gargoyles got them? I hope not. I hope they got back home safely. And what about you? I'm being as sneaky as a cat, hiding behind bushes and stuff. What's your plan? I'm trying to get to my aunt's house. Hopefully my parents will be there. Oh, here's an idea, Sandra. Call them! I think they saw me. Who? Oh, the gargoyles? OMG, they did! Sandra, run! They're coming! Oh my gosh! Ew! What? <laughs> Bunny, I'm still here. Oh my god, did they take her back to their lair? OMG, what happened? They took me to a cave. I think it's their nest. There are other people here. OMG, are they all right? Yeah, I think so. But they're covered in, in what? Wait, the conspiranoid is texting me. Hi, Sandra, are you still there? OMG, you're alive! Of course I am. But didn't the gargoyles get you? Nah, they just wanted to play. What? What do you they just wanted to play? They just wanted to play? I got kidnapped! And they just wanted to play with you? They're very playful creatures. Playful? Yeah. You know, we're on their migratory routes. They're migratory birds. A winged subspecies of the Norwegian troll. That's interesting. She's like, I literally do not care. I'm in a cave. The flock stopped in town to rest for the day and woke up to find the town playing with them. So they decided to play. People were vandalizing them with paint. So the gargoyles got them to vandalize them as well. But they got me too. Then prepared to get vandalized. No! Wait, what? So they're just like, oh, this is a game on our way to wherever they're going, France or whatever. Hey girl, did you sleep well? The cave was an awful place to spend the night, but at least the gargoyles left early in the night to continue their migration trip, but you still stayed there all night long? It was too dark for us to try and walk out of the cave. We had to wait for the firefighters to get us out there this morning, and we walked back to town. We all felt so ridiculous. Oh my god. The gargoyles literally just came for all of them, for destroying them and their property. That's the end. Oh my goodness, you guys. That was crazy. This is a good reminder to remember, you know, if mysterious things start popping up overnight, don't make them angry. Oh my goodness. If you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Until next time, check out the awesome videos I have for you on screen, and I'll see you guys later for this scary text message story. Bye.